Hey there, it's Christina, and I'm still going through my um, bookshelf and looking at books that I haven't looked at in like over like 10 or 15 years <laughs> and uh, trying to decide if I want to sell them on Amazon or keep them like if, uh, if, if for a sentimental reason or, you know, like part of my growth and development. I'm kind of like really, um, this is spring 2014 and I'm kind of like, really trying to decide what to do because I can't believe how many books I've accumulated. I mean, I, I've always been somebody that was committed to learning, growing, um, curious about all different kind of things, always an avid reader. Um, I've never had a television in my house, um, even before the internet. So um, I was always in Borders, bookstore, always, I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars on books um, after my college education, um, just, you know, learning all different kind of things. Um, so these three right here were probably I got around the year 2000, and if you didn't know, um, I've been in the IT field since 1996. And um, around the year 2000 is when I worked for um, Accenture. I was a consultant there, a principal consultant, and it was all during um, the dot-com era. Yes, <laughs> it, was an, it was a wild, crazy, adventurous, exciting time, and money was flowing. I mean, all the um, global, global brands were um, establishing their initial online presence. So, um, really, they needed to get um, Cisco routers and all the infrastructure set up and their first website, which was really just static HTML, no JavaScript, nothing interactive, no e-commerce, no any of that. <laughs> so, um, it was really just like a, 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 an online brochure, which is very um, text-based and boring, but let me tell you, um, it cost them well over six figures to do. So um, you're listening to this now, and you can be up on WordPress, you know, within an hour or two for um, for pennies. So it's uh, things are really democratized for the individual now. So anyway, um, these were three books that were influential to me. Um, Tom Siebel wrote, um, he's the, oh, by the way, he's the um, CEO and founder of Siebel Systems, which was a, one of the first CRM systems that um, we learned, or I learned, and um, that came on the scene. And he wrote Taking Care of E-Business and also um, Cyber Rules. And um, this one had its foreword by Charles Schwab. And um, let's see, switch hands. Let's look at them one at a time. So this one um, let's see when the copyright was 1999. And the Virtual Marketplace. Digital Strategy. <laughs> That's what I do now. Let's read this little bit. We're living in an incredible time when high technology is playing an increasingly important and meaningful role in everyone's lives. The Internet, which is perhaps the most visible evidence of this phenomenon, has revolutionized the way people and companies communicate. Its growth has been explosive because it gives us tremendous access to information that makes our lives simpler to manage. This, in turn, has had a revolutionary impact on business. So, let's see. Measure effectiveness. Define the vision. Oh, this is about profiling your customers. Where did it go? Right. We're, we were talking way back then about explicit an implicit profiling of your customers and clickstream analysis.
is much more sophisticated now. And Infusionsoft does a really good job at this. We always talked about the user experience and being very, um, very, keeping that on your forefront of your mind, being very cognizant of that and architecting that, um, what you want the experience to be, and then having the technology support that. Invisible Inventory. Amazon.com is an electronic bookseller headquartered in Seattle. This bookseller built a reputation by offering more titles than any other bookstore in the world. And now look at Jeff Bezos. Globalizing Medium. Okay, so that was that one, and then um, he also wrote this one. Where was the copyright? Let's see. Receivable systems, and this was the CRM system that I learned first. So, um, it is 2014 now, and. It, um, CRM system of choice is Infusionsoft by far. Um, this is 2001. But these are the pioneers um, that, you know, came first. The value of customer loyalty. These are the things we are studying. Multiple channels you know, having consistency across all customer touch points, optimizing the value of every customer, investing in customer satisfaction, customer focused e-business, customer centric e-business architecture, leverage and extend the ecosystem with um, APIs. Targeted marketing. Nothing new. We started back in 2001 we're just getting really better at it. Monitor, measure, and track the e-business scorecard. You have to figure out what metrics are most meaningful to you and keep your eyes on them. Quantifiable um, success criteria on your dashboard and pay attention. Performance improves when performance is measured and it helps you decide how to allocate your resources. Phased implementation. Structured process. I've done so many business process workflows in Visio. Now you can use Gliffy for nearly free. Um, a lot of business process flows. Um, lots of decision diamonds and if then conditional logic <clears throat> that's what business analysts do multi-channel e-business readiness assessment See, we were getting all the global brands ready for e-commerce, pre-positioned for e-commerce. 
which includes, you know, customer relationship management software, supply chain management software, security to accept and transact business over the Internet with um, credit cards, with a VeriSign. We had to, um, um, you know, people didn't trust these things back then, so we had to make sure that um, there would be no... Um, interception of their data. Five-step repeatable methodology. Analyze, design, plan, deploy, and monitor. Legacy investments how to leverage them and when to retire things, rapid prototypes, I guess Chase Manhattan and Honeywell were some case studies that were in here. store data in a centralized repository. Believe it or not, a lot of people had multiple databases and really didn't have customer insights that way. Understand the factors that delight customers. I always say this, surprise and delight people. You know, make a memorable customer experience. Know your customer. Know your target customer and segment your customer list. So, Tom Siebel, taking care of e-business and um, cyber rules. Strategies for excellence. So this is how, this is how we started the internet, guys. <laughs> and this one was um, exploring e-commerce, global e-business, and e-societies. And those are some of the bullet points about what is covered in this one. And let's see. Global Theater. Oh, talking about e-banking. You know, all this stuff is so normal, normalized now, but um, it was a big challenge for all of us back then, getting it all established, and then optimizing it, and then data mining it. Well knowing what to collect, how to store it, and then how to get business intelligence, derive business intelligence for that so that you can know what to adapt from there. Customer care in e-business environments were still um, talking about that nowadays with like, Gary V with um, Thank You Economy. <laughs> Market Discovery Transaction Service. that 